All right, in this short video, we're going to be talking about how to organize the main body of your speech. And the way that we're going to be organizing the body of our speech is through points and subpoints. Now, that's, it seems like it's a very simple thing to do, but we're going to just talk through this anyway real fast. So, for instance, let's say that we're giving a speech about movies. And let's say these are the movies that we want to talk about in our speech. We want to talk about Comet the Wind, Zoolander, August Rush, all these different movies. All right? What we need to do is find some way to make the information we're going to share with our audience make more sense and be more memorable for them. So one of the ways that we can do it is by first um, coming up with the general, with the specific topics we want to talk about, which would be, for instance, this list of movies. Let's say we want to talk about these movies for our audience. If we've done that, what we've basically done is figured out the specific information we want to share, and so we need to come up with a broader organization pattern to help them understand that. So, for instance, what we might do is we might organize these into three different types of movies dramatic movies, comedic movies, and genre-crossing cross movies, okay? So for instance, under dramatic movies, we might list Gone with the Wind, August Rush, and Les Miserables. I mispronounced that, but that's fine. In terms of comedic movies, we might list Zoolander and Animal House, and we might list genre-crossing movies as being Boondock Saints and Away We Go. All right, so the main body points that we would have for our speech, and these main body points would be what we would talk about in our previous statement in our introduction, would be dramatic movies, comedic movies, and genre-crossing movies. Those are our main body points. They're the big overarching ideas we're going to be talking about in our speech. You'll notice then that we have a second level here of subpoints. And our subpoints are the specific pieces of information we're talking about within our point. Okay? You'll also notice that each of these subpoints only has one piece of information with it. I didn't say Gone with the Wind and August Rush. I, each one of those is given a separate body subpoint to go with it so that we can tell what we're planning on talking about. Now, if you're looking at this list down here at the bottom that's organized after the brain, after we've brainstormed our topic into the points and subpoints, it makes a lot more sense than this list we have of just random movies up at the top. Right? So that's kind of one of the things we want to think about with our points or subpoints. Now, let's say that you've got a general idea about some general topics that you want to talk about, but you haven't figured out your specific topics yet. That's fine. If that's the way you're going about for your speech, you may go with something more like this down here at the bottom. Now, you've, general, you've figured out that you're talking about art supplies in some way. And those are the generic areas you want to talk about, physical art and graphic art. These would be your two main body points. And if this is your starting point, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to brainstorm to fill up um, each of those types of main points with the subpoints. So, for instance, if your main body points were physical art and graphic art, you maybe would talk about under physical art, paints, pencils, and inks. Under graphic art, you may talk about movies, gifs, memes, and still frames, right? Now, I'm not an artist, so I kind of came up with this out of nowhere. If this is incorrect, I do apologize, but this is the type of thing that you want to think about. So you either want to start from those general areas and figure out more specifically what you're going to talk about, or start from your specific topic areas that you want to cover and figure out what your overarching categories are. And this is all, again, just to help your audience understand how your speech is going to be organized to make it more memorable.